Hello, I welcome you all in part 2 of Revit tutorial. In my previous video, I have explained about basics of Revit, how to download the software from Autodesk website. I have also explained the basic interface of Revit software. And then, the most important part, how to add levels in the floor plan. In this video, we will model the house plan shown here in the Revit software. Now, there are two ways to do it. Either by drawing the walls manually in the Revit software or the quickest way is to export this file into the Revit application. So in order to export the AutoCAD file into Revit application, we need to go to the Insert tab. After Insert tab, select Import Gate. Choose the directory where your file is located. Select that file and do some settings here. Import units. So it should be inches because my AutoCAD file is created in inches. Positioning, so we will select auto center to center and from here choose the plinth level. <coughs> Positioning should be auto center to center and then press OK. Now as you can see our file is successfully imported in the Revit software. Now we just need to trace the walls which are shown in a gray color here. So in order to draw the wall, click to the architecture tab place wall command so now our wall command is activated in order to draw the walls we need to take care about the location line the blue dotted line shown here actually represents the location line that means from where our wall should be started this case actually representing the wall is starting from the interior face but actually the outer wall should start from the exterior face so the positioning can be changed by just pressing the space bar from the cable so this is how we can quickly change the position of location. Before drawing the wall, we need to do some settings in the properties there. That means base constraint from where the wall should be started. So the wall should start from plinth level. Then top constraint, that means up to what level our wall should end. So automatically the height of wall is to be adjusted. So let's draw the wall. Just keep on pressing the plan. Now place the space bar in order to change the location line here. Now we have successfully drawn all the walls which were shown in our house plan. If you observe that positioning of windows and door is not visible. So in order to make them visible, you select the visual style and from visual style select wireframe. So now you can see the position of doors and windows. In order to add doors and windows in this plan, we need to come to the architecture tab. So with an architecture tab. As you can see, the window tab is here, or you can also type WN from the keyboard to activate the window command. And before drawing the windows, first we need to identify the dimensions of the windows, which are actually shown in this plan. So typically, the window size varies. From 3 feet to 6 feet. But in this case, we need to actually make the dimensions. So this is 3 feet, 2 feet, 4 feet. So for rooms, the window of 4 feet size is taken. In this plan, 3 sizes of windows are used, starting from 2 feet to so let's select the windows from the 
David Library press window one and from here as we have already discussed whatever the family we are using we need to create the, the duplicate file first so window to fit press ok now we need to actually change the width of the window so that is window to fit again we need to create another duplicate window 3 fit also change the width of window here that is 3 fit and rest of the dimensions we need to keep as it is and finally we have got the window of 4 fit You can also load different types of windows installed in the Revit library. So in order to do this, just go to the load tab and find out windows folder. Here it is windows. And from here you can choose different types of windows. So in our model we have chosen the simple window just for the sake of understanding. So now see how to apply the windows. First, so this is window of 3 fit size actually this is the ventilator the difference between window and ventilator is actually of the cell height for the ventilators we keep the cell height around 7 to 8 feet so since it is ventilator and this size is of 3 feet so we will be choosing 3 feet from our defined window type and here the cell height to be taken as 8 feet Similarly, we need to change the other type of window, which is having two fit. And for this case, the cell height is also be changed, make it as eight feet. Similarly, we need to paint the windows accordingly. So all the windows have been added in the floor plan. Now we need to hit the doors. Again go to the architecture tab and press the door. Go to edit type, create duplicate and typically our door size varies from for rooms it is 3 feet 6 inches. We need to change the width of the existing door. So make it 3 feet 6 inches and press ok. So now keep on just installing the door at the walls. These two icons actually control opening of the door. For example, if you click this one, so the opening of the door can be changed accordingly. Or if you want to keep this door outside, you just need to click this icon. So this is how you can control the opening of the door. Similarly, at the doors, or you can also control this opening by pressing the space bar from the keyboard. For washroom, the dress and bath, we need to add the doors of smaller size. Again, go to the edit type, create duplicate. For bathroom, we are using 2 foot and 6 inches. Press OK. And then again, change the width A. Make it 2 feet and 6 inches and press OK. Now this actually sign shows the opening. In order to place the opening here again, we need to click to the door. 
go to edit type, press load family and within the loads here we can select the opening, press open, again create duplicate, here you can just install the opening in this way. And for sliding door and when door, we need to change the door type. In order to change the door type, again go to the door tab, click edit type, load family, and from here we can choose the different door types available in the existing Revit library. So, for example, we are using this door for the lobby area. Click this one and choose the dimensions so for example I'm choosing 6 foot door for my lobby portion so press ok rough height is normally around 7 feet so I'm using 7 feet ok before they make the duplicate of this door <coughs> so 6 feet lobby door Press OK and just insert the lobby door here. On the sides, we can choose the door exterior glass panels. I will be choosing this size, one feet. Press OK, create duplicate. So one feet exterior panel. Press OK and then OK. Similarly, for the main door, we need to choose the different type of uh, door from the load family. Let's choose this one for now. So, choose the bigger one. Create a duplicate. We have successfully added all the windows, doors and our plan. So in order to see our model in 3D, we need to click this icon. So here you can see our model is created successfully with all the fixtures. So this brings to the end of today's tutorial. If you find this tutorial useful, please do like and share. And if you have any doubt, please write in the comment section. For more updates, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified on my regular posts. Thank you and have a nice day.